Good morning, everybody. So Pet Simulator X, uh, Pet Simulator 99 just had its release video come out. And um, it's there's a lot of stuff in it, guys, like a lot, a whole lot. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But what I wanted to go through is there actually was an update in Pet Simulator X right after. And you can actually go in. People were saying that it wasn't working. It wasn't working. But you can actually start going in. And um, you can go in and actually start uh, moving your pets over. So I did just move one to test it. People said again that it wasn't working. But it actually is. Because you can see it says you just have been successfully transferred. You obviously have to unlock them. Um, but what we're going to do, what makes me nervous is that it only shows five here. Um, so can we only only transfer five um, and then Paramax is in here and so we're kind of chatting about like is it working what's going on with it so let's see he said I wonder if they are not tradable once they transfer them let's tell him I'm not sure and then but only shows f uh, five slots for huges so does that mean we can only move that many because if so, that's going to be crappy because Preston said that we could move as many as we want. So um, it does tell us when we go to move them that you can actually move. Um, you can actually like move whatever you want. You can move eggs and exclusives and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to unlock some stuff here. I'm going to cross my fingers that it actually works and doesn't take my pets away. But I'm going to unlock. I'm going to put this one. So, oh, hey, where did that go? So that just was showing, huh, okay, let me pull up Evolved. Okay, well, it's still here. So now you can see that it's actually showing that it's transferred. So I guess I can't use it, um, or I can't, um, yeah, it's kind of weird. So it's showing, so the one I transferred, the one I transferred is showing, is showing um, exclamation mark and highlighted in orange. So I wonder if I can equip it. Yeah, I can still equip it. So it did say that we could still use them, which is good. But it does actually show on here that it's been transferred as well. So it says that you can use them in both games. So I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and start transferring some stuff over. Um, I think I'll start with stuff at the bottom, honestly, just because it does still make me nervous. And I don't want to lose, like, my inventory, of course. But um, but let's start with some of these, right? But we've got to we've got to unlock them. Uh, still, I'm going to tell him that it still lets you equip, though. I'm going to try to do more than five is basically what I'm, I guess, what I'm saying because it, um, it only shows five of the slots. So let me go ahead and unlock some things. So I'm going to unlock just some kind of random things. Let's so just unlock like, I don't know, 10, 15 pets or so. I think that's more than 15, but let's do it anyways. All right, so let's confirm that. So those have been unlocked. Now let's go in here and see if it will actually let us transfer those huges. Um, so we're going to have to go way down to the bottom. Well, close to the bottom anyways. And let's see. Oh, so refill. So maybe you can only do five. Okay, so I bet you can do five per day. Or five per week, maybe. Hmm, that's a challenge. So then you want to move, like, probably some, some really good stuff is what I'm thinking. Um... So 
So at that level, it's going to take months, if not years, to move all of your um, your huges and such, which is kind of crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and still just move a couple um, just so I can have them transferred. Um, I'll move a pop cat. I'll move like a jelly pig and then I'll move, you know, a couple of other things here just again. So I have some, some huges that are actually moved over to the new game, but, um, it's, you know, it's, we don't know kind of what the board's going to look like or what anything is going to look like at, at this point. So I'm not really sure. So let's go ahead and transfer these see what happens. Okay. So it says successfully transferred. Now let's go back into the huges and see it's max. Okay. So you have to pay Robux. So you have to pay Robux to actually, so you have to pay Robux to transfer more or wait a week. Um, so yeah, that's crazy. Um, but now we know. All right. So it's on cooldown at this point, but it, so that's how he's going to make his money right there, folks, is by leaderboard players and people who play a lot actually doing, um, ac actually trying to get their pets moved over. So let's trade, um, power max and, um, let's make sure that it works. Let's, uh, let's try to trade this, uh, where'd it go? So let's see if the trade works. So I'm curious actually if the trade will actually go through um, or not. I'm really super curious um, if it would actually work. So yeah, so okay, well I need to, so basically what we need to do then is get um, let's see, 10 regular pets, um, let's see, 6, 12, 13, 14 eggs, and one Titanic that we can transfer, and, um, then see kind of what happens. Let's go ahead and, and grab, let's unlock a Titanic, which one do we want to send first? I'm not sure, but let's, let's send, um, this guy. So let's unlock this. And then confirm that. And then let's go send it through. Transfer that. All right, so we've transferred a Titanic. So the huges are what's gonna take the longest. Pets, honestly, I don't care about. Um, obviously we can move exclusives and things like that, but I don't have any equipped anyways. And so it's just, um, you know, I don't, I don't think that's a big deal, but eggs and such, I think I will transfer them because I have a bunch of eggs to, to, to see if it will actually work. Um, so let's, let's make another trade with Max and see, um, see if it will go through. All right. So let's try to trade this evolved rock, evolved rock for evolved rock. His is strength five, mine's agility. Let's see if it actually goes through. I think we can still trade them. Okay, so that's good to know. So the so once you send them through, you can still trade them. So there's some kind of tracking system somewhere that is uh, actually working. And at least at this point, um, let's find that evolved rock. There it is, right here. Um, but yeah, that's that's good to know. So again, you know, this is kind of unexpected that it would take, um, take so long or cost so much money, I guess I should say, in order to move things, um, which is kind of crazy, but we're going to go ahead and keep moving stuff over and then, um, we will come back here shortly. 
So something that I just realized is when I actually banked those pets, um, it is taking, or not banked, sorry, transferred those pets, is it's actually taking my power down. So it's kind of, I think, holding them in like a limbo type of situation, which is fine. But it, again, also is decreasing that total power from your inventory or from your overall power. So as you can see, I'm dropping on leaderboard as um, as I did those. So I went from 17 and now I'm at 22 because I transferred the Titanic and I transferred five of the huge pets, even though they're still in my inventory here again. So it's not necessarily that they're gone. Um, but it, it, there is something going on in the background for sure. Um, trying to figure out just kind of how it all works. But again, there is something going on with it where it is actually deducting from your overall power. So, um, so that is something to be aware of for sure. Um, definitely something to, to take, you know, to take a look at, of course. So, um, so yeah, so, you know, I, I really should have transferred like some of the rainbows or shinies. I'm glad I, sh I'm glad I did transfer one of the evolved rocks, but, um, I, I probably should have transferred some of the shinies and rainbows, but that's okay. Um, definitely we're all learning and there's time, right? So December 1st is still almost a couple weeks away. So there's time to actually do at least one more transfer before that time comes. But for right now, I'm going to actually go and get um, enough pets and eggs to transfer. So let me just count again. So I can transfer 14 eggs and it looks like 10 pets. So I'm going to grab grab some of those from the bank and actually take care of that real quick. Um, and I'll be back shortly. All right. So I got, I finally well, I got frozen in the bank, but I finally got a bunch of stuff out um, that I can transfer over. So some exclusives and um some eggs so i'm going to go ahead and try to transfer those now again it's like super laggy at this point which is kind of crazy but it always happens in the bank the bank always freezes which is kind of crazy and of course as in true pet simulator x fashion everyone is in here begging which is crazy like literally you can't do anything in here without people begging for pets and other things so um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and, and get these transferred at this point and um come right back actually let me just pull this up I think I got the exact amount oh wait I think I took too many I don't have enough spaces for all of those so I think you can only do 10 yep so 10 only oh hey don't be mean don't scream at me pet simulator all right so let's move these 10 um, and then we'll put the other two back in the bank so we got those and then let's do eggs as well so I just grabbed um, a dozen random eggs so hopefully that will work or 14 random eggs. Sorry. Um, so let's transfer those. Um, so this one actually says, are you sure you'll lose them in pet simulator X? So the last ones on the huges said you would not lose them. This one says you'll lose them. So that means I can't open them anymore in pet simulator X, which is fine. I'll open them in the new game. So let's go ahead and transfer them. They've already been transferred. So then of course those probably came out of my inventory. Then I would guess. Um, they did because now we're down to 866 pets. So, so that's interesting that you keep your Titanics and your huges in both games, but you don't keep, um, the eggs and, but you do keep the exclusives also, because you can see them, they're still down here as well. So super interesting. So let's go ahead and, uh, put those back in the bank. Oh, it looks like I have gifts. I just did a mailbox, um, video yesterday. So let me take a look real quick. So of course, please give me a huge. I met you in hardcore. So of course the first one is, is already asking for a huge. And then the second one is actually a, a huge pet and it's a huge pumpkin cat, which is really cool. Um, one of my favorite, one of my favorite huges. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so we will, let's go ahead and reject this and then, uh, yeah, cause I definitely don't want to do that. And then let's claim this because, um, we definitely want to make sure we get this out of the bank. So thank you very much, Ink. I appreciate that. Happy Halloween to you too. And then let us go ahead and put some of these pets back in the bank. All right, guys. So we got the exclusives moved. We moved over. Um, some eggs, some huges, and the Titanic. Now we can't move anything else. So to move an extra Titanic, it costs 800 Robux. To move an extra, let me see, to move extra huges, it costs 400 Robux. To move extra pets, just, you know, exclusive stuff like that, it costs 200 Robux. And then to move extra eggs, again, 200 Robux. So we're on cooldown at this point. We've got seven days, roughly an entire week to go in order to be able to do any more moving over. But I think one thing that you could actually do um, is 
potentially move some stuff to an alt or to some, you know, to different account, obviously, and then transfer them that way. Obviously, you're not going to then um, have direct access to them right away. But I mean, just move them back to your to your regular account. But I think that's one way to maybe get around it is to transfer them that way. I think the only concern for me is that, you know, maybe, maybe, um, maybe they don't transfer in the new game as far as like being able to move them from one person to another, right? Like I, like I would assume, I know there's a trading plaza in there because we saw it obviously in the trailer, but I just don't know how all that's going to work. So I think I'm going to do it. I think, you know, I will spend, um, a, a couple hours or an hour or so moving some stuff to my kids accounts and, and then moving some stuff over to transfer it so that it is actually, you know, some stuff, more stuff has moved over. Um, probably just stuff from the bank, right? Because I do have, I do have quite a few things in the bank. Um, actually, how do I have a new gift? I literally just cleaned my mailbox out, like literally just cleaned it out. Um, so they said, happy birthday. Um, can you add me? I can't add anybody. I'm so sorry. Um, as you can see, people are sending me friend requests like crazy on the side. Um, I will accept this, but I can't, I can't do it right the second because I am, uh, I am full on my pet inventory. I did just, um, take everything, out. not everything, but I took a bunch of stuff out of the bank. So I'm at max pets, 8881. But as you can see, like I was saying, you know, I have a bunch of stuff that I have in here that I do want to move as far as eggs and huge pets and things like that, that are kind of my extra pool. Um, I guess you should, you could say, um, and so So, um, yeah, so I do want to start moving some of the stuff over, especially the exclusives, because I have a ton of exclusives and I have, um, a ton of exclusives on my alt bank as well. I think I have like probably a couple thousand, um, and then just, you know, some regular pets as well. Let's go take a look at my, this is, so this is my alt bank. So as you can see, there's a, just a bunch of event pets, um, and then, of course, a lot of just, you know, OP kind of pets, but from previous updates, right? So, like, not a lot from there. And then, of course, you know, you've got, like, my kids and my friends' banks as well. Of course, I wouldn't touch those. But, um, but yeah, so I, I do have just a lot, a lot of stuff that I could um, get moved over. And I definitely want to move over, again, just from the exclusives and things like that perspective. There's just, there's a lot. So anyways, guys, that's what we've learned so far about Pet Simulator 99. Um, it's, it looks, it looks interesting. I will say, um, I do feel like Preston stole a lot of pieces for his new game from other games like Mining Simulator, um, Bee Swim Simulator, because there's like, um, there's potions, there's comet showers, there's mining, there's fishing. Um, so a lot of those things, if you guys played any of those other games, then you know that those came from other games, right? So I feel like, um, you know, I feel like it's not original, but it does look like it will keep people entertained for a while. So I think the one factor that I don't like is, um, you know, having to pay basically to transfer our pets. And then also what's going to happen with some of the passes. So we did see in the trailer, some of the passes were, um, for, for, or, well, or upgrades, I shouldn't say passes upgrades were for gems. So that's one thing that I'm curious about also is like, how easy is it going to be to earn gems, that kind of situation, but we don't know, right? Like we just have no idea. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. Thanks for checking us out again. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. We'll definitely keep you posted on anything that comes out of new updates for pet simulator 99. Um, and have a fantastic day guys. Take care. Bye.